I'll, go, I'll tell you why I'm proposing that. I want to propose to you that perhaps your application uh, for judicial appointment comes too early in your, in your professional life and you, you should perhaps get more training through acting positions and uh, the SAJE training for aspirant judges. And then I would ask for your comment when I, I'm done telling you why I say that. I propose that. Looking at your judgments, there are, there are very serious problems of form and substance about, about the judgments that you've given us. Um, and, and one has to, because these are the judgments that you have put forward, one has to accept that these, you consider these to be your best judgments. Otherwise, you wouldn't have put them up. That's the basis on which you put them up. And, and the issues of form, I won't take you through all of them, but just by way of example, uh, your Moloko me judgment, you know the judgment that I'm talking about. This is a, a father whose wife was, died in hospital and brings a, a claim, a dependence claim. You, you yes. remember that? Yes. There are all sorts of errors. It's quite a messy judgment. And I use the word messy... Um, not in any disrespectful way, uh, but to make a point that it's a very, it's not a well-prepared judgment. And it has basic problems such as paragraph numbering. You've not done that. You, you do that and then you stop somewhere. Uh, and then you just carry on writing. Um, uh, there are all sorts of typos and all sorts of things. One would expect... This is a public record, so one expects if this was not an agent application where you had to do the judgment overnight, one expects that you would have had time to go through it and fix whatever problems there were before you finally signed and put it out there. That's a form issue. In the event that I find, I uphold a special plea uh, that the, I should hold that the MEC is, is, is to be joined. It's nowhere in the body of the judgment, and you dismiss the special plea, which should be the end of the case against the Minister of Health. Uh, at least this action that is before you should be the end of it. But you say you're ordering a joinder uh, of, of the MEC of Health. Where that comes from is not apparent from the judgment. And I can only put all of this, these uh, and many errors here to training and experience. Um, it's not necessarily an indication. I wouldn't like to think it's an indication of incompetence, but I think training and something that you can benefit from with training and further exposure through acting appointments. And so maybe this application is premature. What is your comment to that? Um, Commissioner, if I might start with the, um, with the last judgment that you referred to. Um, it was indeed it was a matter where in a special plea was raised to say a wrong defendant had been cited. Now my take was at the end of the day when one has to meet up with, with justice, this was, was a claim where in um, if if my memory serves me well, it was a claim in regards to a minor child. I just don't have the facts. And uh, in me ordering that the correct defendant be, be joined in, I did not want to shut the doors against the poor litigant. According to a technicality that could have been caused by the person who drafted the papers. And uh, in regards to the first matter that you referred to. I should be honest to say that the matter was a bit complex. You would note that it, it was a medical negligent matter. I had to take my time to research, familiarize myself with the medical terms after having had evidence and to consider the expert evidence, I mean the expert opinion that was brought before me. With, with the issue of numbering, I, I just want to believe that that could have been an error on my part or on the secretary that assisted me in, 
in um, typing out the judgment that I should have checked and made sure that the numbering is correct. Yes. But I would want to say that um, I am ready for this position. And no, just a quick follow-up. Uh, Commissioner Baloy says you were this judgments that you have put here. They were not put by anyone else but yourself, and you regarded these judgments in a way as your best judgments that you can put forward. Then when mistakes are shown in those judgments, you say, no, those are old judgments. I've since improved. Why didn't you bring the improved judgments instead of bringing the mess that has been presented before you? Because if you say those are old judgments, meaning there are new judgments which have extremely improved and you have not brought them to our attention, how do we confirm that indeed you have improved from all those mistakes which were pointed at you? Um, Commissioner, if you can ever look at the judgments that I attached, I tried to spot out different kinds of, of matters. The one that Commissioner Nyambi pointed out is that of medical negligence, which was a civil trial, and I've also attached a criminal trial judgment, and I've also attached an opposed. So I was trying to show to the Commission the different kind of judgments that I've written, regardless of maybe the flaws of, of that, that have been shown to me, which I acknowledge. However, I, I can state with, with, with certainty that I've actually improved, and my reason of attaching these judgments was to reflect on the diff different kind of judgments that I've written. Follow-up, CJ. Follow-up, CJ. 